With a great and growing collection comes great responsibility. And with great responsibility comes great power. Power from Cube Posket, that is. From Chainsaw Man. This makes number 11 in the set of my Cube Posket obsession. Let's take a closer look at power from Chainsaw Man. Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. And welcome to the first Cube Posket in the series I have from Chainsaw Man. So far, Power is the only one I've seen out there. I've not seen um, Denji yet, but I wouldn't really want to get Denji. I think it would be better trying to get um, Chainsaw Man himself, busy Denji's form when he transforms. I know it means that this Chainsaw's going to be big out the head, but surely they can put it in kind of like the sword where you can attach it, and I think that'll look pretty cool. Yes, two poskets, their main thing is the eyes. They really do really well at the eyes, and I think power is going to be awesome, especially with her different style of eyes there. That's going to look super cool. And of course, Chainsaw Man itself doesn't actually have them kind of eyes, so they can't refeature that. But I think the detail they put into these figures, it would look awesome. For all I know, it could be out there. I've not seen one yet. You've seen one? You know what's coming? Let me know down in the comments below. But just have a quick look at this at power. And not only that, this is one of the very first ones that don't actually have an initial on it. Most of the Cube Poskets I've had so far, if not maybe all of them, have had an A version and a B version. The B version is normally like a sepia colour or a slightly different colour version of the main character. With the A version being the standard version, standard colour ways. And I always go for the A because I do prefer the standard colour ways. Let's open it up, I'll put it all together and we'll take a closer look at Power from Chainsaw Man. And there we go, there is Power from Chainsaw Man. And just look at, look, have a quick look at them eyes. I told you the eyes were going to be cool, were going to be awesome, and they are absolutely awesome. And look at that sassy pose that she's in. She doesn't really care. She never really does in the series anyway, does she? But them eyes are... It's hard to... It's, hard to, it's definitely hard, hard to look away. They're, 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 them are some pretty cool eyes. They do definitely look very awesome. <laughs> and Cube Posca does it in a great way. That shine really adds to it, the stern look, the the overall pose of the character, the shirt hanging out, the detail, and even down the point that they put on this one, it's normally you do get a few more lines here and then you see stuff, but they've got the hair in two parts, and the mould, what well, would essentially be in the mould line, goes down the middle here, and that just looks like part of the hair, so when they put them together, it's really well done in that way. But it's also nice to get a new series in the Cube Plastic Collection, but what should I get next? Should I try Attack on Titan? Should I go more My Hero Academia? I could go more Demon Slayer. Could even go as crazy as Sailor Moon. You never know. But let me know down in the comments below. And while it's down there, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and click that notification bell for upcoming videos. Because there's definitely going to be more Q posts on the way. This is number 11 in quite a short period of time. I am definitely a little obsessed. But it's all good. My name is Daniel. This has been Twisted Geek. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.